We have been talking extensively, I would say so far, far this morning about just how cold it is out there. I mean, it's it's one of the coldest days we've seen really so far in a long time. Yeah, Ron Smiley picked a good day to <laughs> call off, stay at home, stay where it's warm, because as soon yeah. as you walk outside, you feel it, Mary. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days where I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to be inside all day with the kiddos. Can't send them outside to play. Going to bundle my daughter up with a whole bunch of layers for school. So today, temperatures are going to drop. We were at 30 degrees at midnight, so really the actual temperature not mattering much because when you factor in these winds, we're already feeling in the single digits and below zero. Some bright news, some good news at the end of the tunnel, I guess I should say, is it's not going to last long. So this is going to be improving by tomorrow afternoon. So if you're waking up this morning, you may have a coating out there on the roadways, bridges, overpasses, but there were trucks out this morning. They were salting already, and it wasn't much, just a little burst of snow. Places like Uniontown, you still have some light snow showers around, but we're drying out quickly behind the system. So looking at our wind chill advisory only for Garrett County, Maryland, where it could feel as low as 15 degrees below zero. That's going to go until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right now, 12 degrees in Franklin. We're at 16 in Butler, 20 in Washington, 19 Latrobe, 18 in Indiana. And with wind speeds picking up, this is just speeds, not gusts. 20, 25 miles an hour wind gusts. 30 to even up to 40 miles an hour in Somerset. So it is going to be frigid. It's going to be blustery, but brutal. Make sure you bring your pets inside. So one degree below zero is the wind chill in Franklin. Two degrees is how it feels in Butler. Five degrees in Beaver Falls. So all through the day, those temperatures will stay steady into the low teens and then feeling in the single digits and even below zero through tomorrow morning. So fast forwarding to Saturday morning tomorrow, we're going to be waking up again with sub zero wind chills, but then by the afternoon, improvement. We'll get back to the 30s. We'll have some sunshine around and then we're in the upper 40s on Sunday. So the groundhog might not have been correct after all. So looking at future cast time and get out for you. We'll see temperatures again staying steady into the teens. We'll be dry. We'll stay quiet. Not much precipitation this week at all after these snow showers wrap up this afternoon and then even overnight Saturday into Sunday. It's going to feel much better. We'll be waking up with those low temperatures right around freezing and not only do we have the 40s returning, we'll have the 50s returning and again the best chance for any showers will be Tuesday. So looking at our seven day forecast, it's a very brief Brief cold snap, we can get through it. 46 Sunday, 43 Monday. We do have light showers around on Tuesday, high of 55. It'll be just rain showers, 50 on Wednesday, and then upper 40s on Thursday.